fascination water. No other natural element is so inspiring, mystical, destructive and healing. At the same time, it's an indispensable source of our survival. Water is our basic nourishment to which not all people have equal and secure access and which is becoming more scarce. No wonder, of the 1.4 thousand billion litres of water in our oceans, lakes and rivers, only 3% is fresh water. If our domestic bathtub were to contain all of this water, the water in this big glass would correspond to the fresh water fraction, while that in the smaller one would correspond to our drinking water reservoir. A precious good which has to be preserved by protecting water and the environment and by avoiding wastewater. Even in apparently water-rich countries such as Germany, the first harbingers of climate change are already recognizable. Dry summers and low precipitation winters have led to a drop in the groundwater table, especially in the northeastern part of Germany. Awareness raising aimed at a more conscious and responsible handling of water was needed. The avalanche was set in motion with the water meter. There's hardly a single household where a water meter is not installed, showing accurate drinking water consumption and urging its owner to save water. Dripping water taps are already a thing of the past. In spite of increasing luxury in the bathroom, an efficient handling of water has become a matter of course for the majority of Germans. The industry reacted hesitantly at the beginning, but later complied with the demand. By using different water-saving fittings, water as well as energy consumption can be reduced to almost by half. Today, more homeowners and investors are becoming aware of this fact, and water-saving fittings are being already installed in new constructions or during the retrofitting of old buildings. Flow restrictors, which deliver only 3 litres per minute, will also achieve a similar effect in old fittings. This investment will pay off after just one month. Water can also be saved during toilet flushing and laundry activities. While washing machines consumed 160 to 180 litres of water in the past, they require less than 50 litres today. At the same time, water and wastewater costs have been increasing by twice as much as energy costs, an ongoing trend. The share of the fixed cost for the infrastructure lies at about 80% of the drinking water and wastewater cost. The largest share of costs will be needed for maintaining and rehabilitating the almost 100-year-old ailing supply networks for drinking water and especially those for wastewater disposal lines. Experts estimate the rehabilitation demand for the coming years, especially for the sewerage system, at 50 to 60,000 million euros. This corresponds approximately to the value of the gold reserves in Germany's central bank, funds which many of the municipal water companies don't possess. Furthermore, these centralized systems are not flexible enough to deal with the rapid population change. In addition, there are problems related to incipient climate change. For example, more frequent precipitation has resulted in floods in recent years. On top of everything, an increasing number of torrential rain events invariably caused major problems to the German combined sewerage system into which rainwater and wastewater flow together so that a fraction of the rainwater-wastewater mixture flows untreated into rivers and lakes following heavy rain showers. Fish die as a result of oxygen depletion in water bodies due to bacterial decomposition of the wastewater components. Bathing sites and lakes often have to be shut down in summer due to high microbial load. On the other hand, exceptionally long, dry periods hinder groundwater recharge and have fatal consequences on forestry and agriculture. Also in Germany, there are already regions with deficient amounts of water. 
Local authorities, planners, architects and engineers need to work together to implement new decentralized water concepts. These are more economical and above all more adaptable to climate and population fluctuations, closing eventually the water cycle. Rainwater can be simply utilized by means of evaporation or infiltration on site, relieving at the same time the strain on the municipal sewer. Green roofs in housing settlements in rural areas or in urban multi-storey buildings offer excellent options for rainwater management. Various types of grass planted in the inner courtyards between paving stones instead of concrete surfaces are also suitable or even storage reservoirs which collect roof runoffs. Runoffs can also drain in constructed wetlands, as seen here in the middle of a city of one million. Or, upon heavy rain, runoffs can seep into the underground via an adjacent vegetated swale. Recently, scientists have continuously shown the high value of such measures for the microclimate, especially in large cities. The good old rainwater barrel has also been rediscovered as a water reservoir for the garden. Also, surface runoffs can be used directly to water the flower bed. On a larger scale, there are several modern technologies which can help to increase the rainwater potential. In Germany, about 50 to 60,000 rainwater systems are built yearly, either from concrete or plastic. And the trend is upwards. The Darker family deliberately implemented rainwater utilization in its three-generation house in Potsdam. Roof runoff drains directly into the 6,000-litre cistern. A storage capacity of about 700 to 800 litres is calculated per person. A filter, which is easy to clean, retains the coarse solids in rainwater. Rainwater is withdrawn from the cistern over a separate second network by means of an automatic control to the different floors for use in toilet flushing, laundry, and garden watering. We have no concerns as to the presence of any residues in rainwater or whether it is not clean enough for laundry. During dry periods, we turn off the washing machine and use rainwater only for toilet flushing or to water the garden. The Darker's rainwater system will pay for itself within five to six years. Eventually, a third of the yearly total drinking water and wastewater costs can be saved through rainwater utilization. For the Hamburg Hotel Ausspann, rainwater utilization has already paid off. The architect and hotel owner constructed a collection tank in a vacant room inside the building between the stairs and the guest rooms. It works for 13 years and we have already collected about 4,000 cubic meters of rainwater. We mainly use it to flush the toilets of 40 water closets connected to the system. Great benefits have been achieved in other projects in Berlin, such as that of the Franciscan Monastery, where laundry for the charity shop is washed with rainwater. This is profitable, since the wash water can be treated again and used for toilet flushing. This is the Weiberwirtschaft, a business complex for women in the center of Berlin. Here, three rainwater plants store up to 80% of the rainwater for use in toilet flushing in the different trades, including a tailor's shop, glazier's workshop and a restaurant. These projects have achieved that the new effective technologies were developed and tested in Germany. We also developed guidelines for construction, planning, operation and maintenance of these plants. Our technologies have also proved to be of value worldwide.
haben, die sich auch weltweit bewähren. Another famous water saving project is that of the technology center of the fire brigade in Hamburg. Rainwater from the flat roof flows through dam pipes into which filters are integrated and drains into plastic tanks placed in the cellar. From there, rainwater flows by means of centrifugal pumps into a washing plant. Here, all the fire hoses of the Hanseatic city are cleaned regularly. Four fire hoses can be cleaned within 20 minutes, including drying and a pressure test. The yearly water bill of 13,000 euros uncovered the largest water consumer of the center after a comprehensive examination. Up to 500 cubic meters of drinking water can be saved yearly through rainwater utilization, thus reducing running costs. Even more rainwater can be collected from the roof of the Hamburg airport, which is stored in an underground reservoir at 12 meters below the surface, behind the central ventilation system. From there, rainwater is pumped to all airport toilets. We feel ourselves committed to conserve these resources and this has been the major driving force. And of course, after a rough calculation it was clear to us that this would turn out to be profitable. 22,000 euros can be saved yearly using rainwater. Therefore, in almost all modern large airports in Germany, these water reserves are being tapped. Also, renowned shopping centers are increasingly resorting to rainwater utilization as a substitute for drinking water. A current example is Alexa of Sonai Sierra in Berlin, which is still under construction. The firm is internationally recognized as a specialist in shopping centers and owns 44 of them in Europe alone. It's also well known for its environmentally friendly design, operation and management. A short visit to the future rainwater reservoirs. We are able to collect about 1,050 cubic meters of rainwater with the two reservoirs. We will primarily use this water for cooling to feed the air conditioning system, which we have installed in the shopping center. The concrete basins will be eventually flooded. The stored rainwater is also connected to a sprinkler system and can be immediately used as reserve water for firefighting. The next rainwater reservoir holds almost one and a half times more than that in the shopping centers reservoirs, which happens to be the largest rainwater reservoir in Europe with a built-in sand trap. Rainwater falling on Berlin's Olympia Stadium flows largely from its highly corrugated roof surfaces into an underground reservoir, which is then used for irrigation of the sports fields and surrounding green space. On a hot summer day, about 120 cubic meters of irrigation water is needed, corresponding to about 15 to 25 liters per square meter. As such, lawn maintenance is a very sensitive issue, to be carried out by experts only. Rainwater is a natural system, which is, of course, free of charge. It contains no chemicals and is distributed evenly on the plant. Several tens of thousands of euros are saved yearly at the Olympia Stadium in Berlin.